What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we got here to Famine's Desert, and we decided to take on the troll. Which, if you didn't catch, if you didn't catch last episode, I highly suggest you do because we saw a very nostalgic Golbat. You'll you'll know what I mean if you saw the episode. If you haven't yet. I highly suggest you do. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to continue on through Famine Desert and um, try and see what's up at uh, Falabor. Or Lava Ridge, sorry. And uh, yeah, also, this music for a sandstorm or for a desert is pretty funny. Now, we talked to you last time. Now, I remember that there's a, tr I remember there's a chef. Before we turned around last time. <gasps> it's a little baby Sashrew! <laughs> he looks so cute. Okay. Um, I'm gonna run and... Before I forget... We're gonna do a very quick team recap. And don't mind the Zigzagoon. We have Maya, our Gyarados, level 32, rocking with the Gamblefish, and Splash, Tackle, Bite, and Surf. We have Gary, our Slugma, which actually, from the troll that we beat last episode, we got the Brain Link, which is exactly the same thing as the Experience Share, which is perfect. Uh, Gary is rocking in Yon, Ember, Rock Throw, and Harden. Dega, level 23 with Harden, Leech Life, Tackle, and Egg Bomb. And thank you, Ambulance, for being in the background. Thank you oh so much. Next is Seppuku, our Nuzleaf, level 35 with Bide, Faint Attack, Cut, and Fake Out. And last and certainly not least, Poic, our starter, the Battle Toy, level 33 with Psybeam, Harden, Rapid Spin, and Ancient Power. So we're going up against what I'm assuming is a skilled chef. <laughs> okay. Are you a skilled chef or a regular chef? You are just a regular former chef, so you will have munchlaxes. Which is fine by me. Absolutely, perfectly fine by me. Uh, we get your Intimidate drop. If I remember correctly, Surf didn't really do a whole lot. He's doing more, he's doing more than I thought now. Because the last time we fought a Monshlax, Maya was like level 29. So. And there we go again. Just one more and we should be good to go. Anyway, so as we do this battle, how are you? How have you guys and this guy's using a ghetto how have you guys been doing i'm doing all right it's pretty warm up here actually it's pretty warm i'm pretty sure it's like 25 degrees outside and yeah i had a i had a i had a fan on earlier i had to turn it off because it was being picked up on the recording so uh right after this battle i'm probably gonna go and pick up myself like a tub of ice cream and just sit down and eat that Either that, actually I do kind of need to go to the grocery store anyway, so I might just do that. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, Munchlax finally goes down after that. Acurlia? Yes, I will switch. I will switch out to Sapuku. Yeah, Sapuku. Because Sapuku knows Faint Attack. And Faint Attack being a Dark type move against a Curlia, who's a Psychic type, is a good is a good thing to do. And Sapuku is also part Dark, which makes things a little bit easier as well. So, yeah. So we'll go with a Faint Attack, 
and Sabuku, calm down. I know you were supposed. To, I know you were supposed to do a lot of damage, but I wasn't expecting you to kill. Perfect. I'm not complaining. Good job, Sabuku. And the chef just flees. What else? Oh, okay. We got chefs out the yin yang here. Let's fight you. If any one of them say, as we found out in the last episode, if any of them say uh, the chef roars at you for a challenge, it is a uh, skilled chef. Which, as we found out, he will have either a Snorlax or a Gardevoir, and I say eventually we'll have both. Also, we got this Curlia here. Let's go take a bite out of it. Not as much as Feign Attack, but Flash... Wait, Flash did damage? Flash never does damage. Flash never did damage before. That's different. Like, really different. Can the Sandstorm take out Curlia? Nope. That's so weird. He used Flash and that did damage to me. That is weird. Okay. Maya, if you can get another critical hit, that would be fantastic right about now. Please? No, but can you flinch? Yes, you can. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. This bite should almost kill. Shadow Ball. Doesn't kill. This Sandstorm will take it out, though. And there we go. Bye bye, Chef. You're gonna flee. I'm gonna say might as well fight you too. Route 111, Route 112. Um, let's fight the chef first. You're close to death, so I'm gonna put Sapuku up front. Go, go. As in go away? Sure, I'll go away. Haroda sent out Munchlax. Here we go. Here's a Munchlax. I'm gonna fake you out first, though. If you don't mind. You don't? Perfect. <laughs> no, if I remember correctly, Cut was doing a nice bit of damage to you, too. If memory serves. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. That's the damage that I like seeing on a Munchlax, especially. Because Munchlax has HP, I think. Yes. Mm. The, fact that, the fact that Munchlax hasn't done anything to me yet, I'm just like, cool. No Gato. Next turn, you're definitely going to be using it, though. Unless this Munchlax dies from the Sandstorm? No. Ghetto is definitely being used. Yeah. On the plus side, that gives me more oppor that gives me a free opportunity to cut you. I will HMO1 you. <laughs> now you are probably out of Gatos, because normally I've only seen these chefs only use one, except for Skilled. Skilled I've seen use two. And this Munchlax is still not doing anything. And because I've moved first... Actually, maybe Sandstorm take this out? Nope. 
Now, on the plus side, on the absolute plus side, uh, headphones, um, he can't use another Gato, and because I move first, he can't use Swallow. So, Gary, Hirota, not saying that word, not saying go again, and you flee. So let's go towards Route 112. Wait, I should investigate the desert first. Clues my brother's whereabouts should could be there. The game will force me to go up this way. Okay. What's down here? I might actually start. I might actually use that uh, rappel that I picked up last episode. Because we tried going to uh, Falabor, and the game would not let us. So I'm actually going to use the repel that we picked up, and let's just see what we can find. Holy! There's people down here. Are you guys all trainers? Yes! I start the fires in this camp, I'm really good at it, my Macargo helps out. Oh, this guy's a Macargo. Quad weak to water. Hey, look, Gary, it's your brother. <laughs> Why, I forgot Sapuku was up front. This should be Maya. <laughs> okay, so I made a mistake. Heat wave. I was going to say that should not do much. Uh, only May is gonna get hit with a sandstorm <coughs> because Macargo's part ground, and because he's part ground and part fire, this surf should kill Oko, which it does. Gary now level twenty six, very nice. And there's a fire starter gun. Okay, you know what? I might just. Put Poic up front because May is definitely putting in the work. Um, also needs to get a couple of level ups. Looks like we got ourselves a double battle too. So let's do this. Hey, you look tough. How about joining the Hoenn in Internal Affairs Army? I mean, we could, but I'm kind of on search for my brother, who's the current champion right now. Horsey and Beldum. Okay, so... Yeah... Not particularly a good... For Beldum? Hmm. Let's just see where this goes. Let's take Psybeam to Beldum, and Maya will take a bite out of Horsey. Horsey almost dies. I kind of figured it wasn't but we got the um we got the crit though not the kind of crit that i wanted but well crits are always nice but anyway horsey's buffeted all right let's side beam the horsey take care of that and let's surf Okay, we're taking a horsey with Surf, that's cool too. And the side beam isn't gonna do much. Another critical hit, Jesus, Poic. Calm down with the... Calm down with the critical hits. First Maya, first Maya now Poic. We're getting crits out the yin-yang. Uh, let's just do what we normally do, I guess. Beldum goes down. Poic and Maya, Gary. Okay, there goes the recruiters. Yeah, we we sure found us a powerful trainer. Real tough. Look, kid, if you don't want to join the army, then at least give us some kind of quote for our report. How about it? Will you help two overworked army officers who haven't been paid since the invasion began to file their report? Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Oh. Um. 
It was... Quit editing? Yeah, let's not do it. Now, let's take this med kit. And we got this guy. This little spot here is our camp. I use my rock and roll magic to keep the chefs out. So this guy's a rocker. Crankshaft. <laughs> Luxio. Good thing I got Poic out. Good thing I got Poic out because Luxio can't do anything unless he's using... Um, actually, he's part dark, isn't he? Not a good idea. Uh, he's part dark. Let's send Omea. Now let's see. Yeah, see that that would have done a number on Poic. Um. Okay, let's go surfing. See how much the surf does. Maya with the crit. All right. That was uh that was that was good. All right. Take out this med kit again. I think the I think our repel is still up too, so we can still head up. Item. We got ourselves another broken heart. I remember that from all the way back near the beginning of the game. Okay, so okay, so we're at where we are before. Oh, the chefs. Um. Okay, looks like that's something that we need to do to progress the story. And look at the little baby Sashri again. Hey, cutie patootie. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we have ourselves two chefs to battle and whatever this other one is. <sighs> a strong scent of powerful magic is coming from beyond. It could be unwise to go further. In other words, the game is forcing us to do this. Oh. We have ourselves a flashback. It isn't so painful this time. Chris. Are you all right? Oh, this is bad. Alicia. Alicia? I'm fine. It's okay. Oh, thank goodness. We have to get out of here. The ceiling is collapsing. Chris! That was a way longer flashback. I've had... Flashback I've had so far. What was I? Why was Alicia helping me? So this is... Oh. This is famine. Horseman of the Apocalypse famine. I'm not... Am I ready? I think... I want to say I am. We're at 18 minutes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end things off here. We are going to do these... These... Three, maybe four fights in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click up that... Be sure to click up. Be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.